welcome in first practical here we will use maximum software to find the partial derivative of a function we practice the partial derivative first order derivative second order derivative and higher order partial derivative in maximum software and uh, you have to solve some more question from your book and practice them here so the maxima interface is this window and uh, here we will use this function d i w f there is second program where we have to calculate the total derivative there we again use this function inbuilt function d i w f so we practice now d i w f to find the partial derivative so suppose there is a function of two variable x and y z depend upon x and y and x and y are independent variable here i want to find this curly z by curly x means partial derivative of z with respect to x and partial derivative of z with respect to y to find these partial derivative i will use d i w f in the form here i will write the function whose derivative i want to take and i am saying this is my expression and first i want to take derivative with respect to x so i will write here x this is the syntax and uh, it is the form of last this expression this last line is i am using d i w f in this format so it will return the first derivative of this expression with respect to x here y will be treated as constant let us define a function here i am writing my function z z aapka depend karta hai x aur y pe and this is here x ki power 4 plus x square into y square minus y4 it's my function so i will shift and enter here so in the memory of my computer this function is written in this form okay now manually first you will calculate the partial derivative of this function with respect to x so what the value of this function here curly z by curly x i am denoting this curly z by curly x as p it's my notation so when you take the derivative of x ki power 4 with respect to x it will be 4x cube and here plus 2x square y square minus of 0 so i first writing a di double f bracket start bracket close here the expression expression is your zxy and i want to take derivative with respect to x so this is x here i put the dollar sign here because i don't want the output i'm just storing this value of differentiation in function p now i want to take what value stored here the same i told you after taking the differentiation similarly we can calculate the partial derivative with respect to y here i will write d i w f the expression as i gave in input uh, i so this is uh, in output 01 so this my syntax and it will give me return me the first derivative of my expression with respect to the variable y so i wrote it here d i double f it's a syntax back it start back it close i wrote my function in variable z so z of x y it's my expression whose 
partial derivative I want to calculate with respect to y. Now I gave here colon and equal to this is the function assignment so the differentiation of zxy with respect to y is assigned here in q. So I write here shift and enter it will show me this is Leibniz form of your representation of q x y. It's not showing you the partial derivative because it is stored in the q x y d by dy and z x comma y it is Leibniz form not the noun form. So now I want to check up after question of what is the value of q here. Okay, when you take the derivative of output 0 1 the derivative of x key power 4 will be 0 derivative of x square into y square will be 2 x square y square minus 4 y q it will be your answer let us check okay aapne computer mein kya calculate kya its value is 2 x square y as the same okay this is the way you can calculate the first order partial derivative now I have calculated the second order partial derivative. I denote my notation here curly square z curly x square I wrote uh, assign this value in R as your partial derivative notation. Because I will calculate this uh, partial derivative in two way and I will verify the answer in the both case will be same. Similarly curly z curly y square this is t and uh, z partial derivative with respect to y x I assigned in s. It's my notation. Let us first calculate the r value means partial derivative of your expression two time with respect to the single variable that is your x here. So notation for this is the same function you will use d i double f this is my function. Here you will write the uh, expression whose partial derivative you want to calculate and uh, you want to calculate the partial derivative with respect to the independent variable x and 2 time. So I assigned the value expression value is z so I wrote here zxy derivative x and comma 2. It will calculate the partial derivative of z with respect to x2 time. And what will be the answer? Look, aapka jo p hai, this is value. It's a differentiate kar dije with respect to x. So this value is equal to 2y square plus 12x square. This will be my answer. Let us verify what maxima will calculate. So I assigned this second order derivative in variable r. That is a function of x and y. And this is the syntax colon and equal to. Okay, so this function value will be now. This is the notation. Ki it's calculating the partial derivative. And what will the value? The gain same. 2y square plus 12x square. I can calculate this directly by taking first order derivative. How? You can take p is your derivative with respect to x you have already calculated again differentiate this with respect to x. This is the way you calculate manually. If I gave you function z and I said ki find out the partial derivative two time with respect to x so you will first differentiate with respect to x the answer is p and you will again differentiate the p with respect to x. So again the notation is differentiation bracket start close here is your expression now your expression is pxy and uh, you want to calculate derivative with respect to x and you want to take first order derivative the answer will be that answer should be the same so here the answer is same so this is the way you can take the partial derivative in maxima software two time suppose you want to take a derivative with respect to x and y you can calculate fourth order partial derivative, fifth order partial derivative, so many. So in the beginning I told you that di double f can be written in four ways, can be used in four ways. So 
to take the partial derivative simultaneously with respect to x and y but the first you will calculate x then you will calculate with respect to y or first you calculate y then with respect to x so syntax for this will be this expression this will be the syntax to find the directly in a single step both partial derivative you can calculate in the maxima software how you will write d i double f then you will write the expression the function whose partial derivative you want to calculate here you will write the first variable maybe x maybe y and n underscore 1 indicate the order of your derivative continue the pattern will be same you can write here second variable and order of your derivative and continue up to xm and underscore m xm matlab it means it's your mth variable and n underscore m indicate your derivative order okay so directly maxima this function will give you the partial derivative it is equivalent to the first you will differentiate with respect to xm m order then again differentiate with another variable and continue with x1 n1 okay so here as i want to calculate the derivative of z with respect to x and with respect to y the notation will be again di double f this is your function bracket start bracket close expression is my z and here i want to take first order derivative with respect to x so i write here variable x and derivative is 1 and uh, again second variable is y and its first order derivative so let us check what will be the answer answer shift enter 4xy you can verify the key here is your p if you differentiate p with respect to y this is your p if you differentiate with respect to y the answer is 2x into 2y that is 4xy and same i obtained from direct differentiation here this is 4xy is it clear you can practice another example in your maxima software I want to check this one ki whether the answer is same or not. So I wrote another way to find the derivative. I use here p x y. p is your curly z by curly of x. I am differentiating this function partially with respect to y and assigning this value in the function s1 x y. And similarly I am changing the order of integration. I have first derivative i have calculated the first derivative y with respect to y so this is q and uh, again differentiating this with respect to x and assigning the value s2 the value of uh, s1 s2 and i obtained in the output 8 will be the output uh, sorry uh, output 9 will be the same because this is the partial derivative of z with respect to x and y so let us check so i have this s1 as 4xy similarly s2 will be the same 4xy i obtain the same similarly you can take partial derivative two time with respect to y there are the two way directly you can take the second order derivative so syntax will be di double f z x y differentiation with respect to y two time so this is shift enter its value is this one you can obtain this expression here is my function not f this is z so z x y you can take here q because q is partial derivative z with respect to y and again you are differentiating this with respect to y so answer jo aap kaega, that will be the 2x square minus 12y square that should be this one let us check this is your Leibniz form I assigned this value in the function t now I am giving command to write the 
value of txy on the screen it is the same okay now you can calculate higher order partial derivative for this you will use the syntax first which is the syntax this one di it's very important because you can directly calculate any order derivative in a single step how there is expression ya aap apna koi bhi function you write down kijiye whose partial derivative you want to find here you will write the variable first Uh, this value is x in my case and uh, i have calculated here first order derivative and then variable second variable third variable mf and derivative with respect to this variable the order of the derivative with respect to this variable suppose your expression is zxy and you want to differentiate this one time with respect to x and three time with respect to y so i wrote this notation as f x triple y it's just notations you can take any value any uh, expression or just without uh, take assigning this value so i assigned this one and i gave the notations so as that i can understand what i wrote here i have calculated here one time partially with respect to x and three time partially with respect to y its value should will be zero because uh, there is no power of y cube in my expression so its value is zero here you can calculate for more uh, expressions uh, suppose uh, uh, t is your derivative with respect to y dekhiye ye expression aapne calculate kiya hua hai t t means two time partially differentiation with respect to y suppose i want to check this i want to differentiate this again with respect to x if i again differentiate the output in 16 it will be two time y one time x to so answer will be 4x square let us calculate this expression directly so in place of 3 there will be 2 so i calculated one time with respect to x and two time with respect to y you can directly take the outputs or you can assign this in this function it's your choice i wrote here this expressions and suppose i want to find this value the answer will be 4x cube let us check 4x similarly you can take higher order derivative suppose uh, this is with respect to y and if i again differentiate this with respect to y the answer will be minus 24y let us check what will be my answer this one here i am taking partially differentiation of this z expression three time with respect to y so i delete all this here i should write 3 and suppose you want to take the output shift enter this will show if you eliminate the dollar sign from here so this will shows the leibniz form of your expressions what value you are assigning in this functions three time derivative of z with respect to y it's not right curly it's right the d by d of y dependency is on x and y i will told you in the next lecture dependency and independency of the function on the variables and how to find the total derivative we will practice this in second practical okay now the what what will be the answer three time with respect to y will be 24y let us check what is stored in this function so this is shift enter minus 24 of y if i again differentiate this with respect to x the answer will be 0 and higher order derivative will be 0 so you can practice more questions and you can use your maxima software to calculate the partial derivative of one z or function with respect to the its dependent variable thank you so much for watching